Yeah, not only popular, Vic and Joanne, he was much loved. And this is still a very active scene. We're trying to be very careful around the police activity and also devastated family members. You're looking at a photo of him. Everyone called him Freddy. He was 63-year-old Farage Dolly. He'd been on this corner here at Boston and Dexter on the city's west side for 32 years. Dozens of people in this neighborhood, and believe me, that is no exaggeration. Dozens loved him because he was so good to everyone. This morning, Freddie pulled up to open his store called the Medicine Chest Party Store. He never made it to the front door. Two men robbed him, shot him fatally. Word quickly spread. Several employees heard as they were on their way to work. She came up here, and when I came, he was already laying on the ground. And he was covered up. We had another worker that was coming in and another guy who opened with him in the morning. And they was on their way over. They wait in the Coney Island for him to get here. And they was on their way over when it happened. She said she, they heard the gunshots and she saw him on the ground. I don't know if she actually saw him get shot. We're going to either work with Crime Stoppers or the Detroit Police Department Reward Fund. Um, and the AAPD Foundation is going to put a reward up there um, close to $50,000. Five zero 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 fifty thousand dollars for the arrest and conviction of whoever did this crime. We're going to send a message out there that you are not going to attack people in Detroit, whether you're a business owner who's been, who's been here for 40 years or your resident. You're not going to go after people in Detroit, period. And we're going to send that message loud and clear. And Freddie's family members are gathering down the street. He had three sons and other extended family are here as well. And that includes several Detroit police officers. They are here even though they are not on duty because they felt so close to this man whose uh, senseless death has really shaken this community here on the west side. Now, police tell us there is surveillance tape. They have a description of the uh, two men. Uh, they thought they had a better description of the car. They want to hold off on that now. But there is surveillance tape, a lot of activity here. Police and the community will be doing everything they can to bring these two men to justice. Reporting live from Detroit's west side, I'm Val Clark, 7 Action News. Back it is to the so studio. upsetting, Val having to report these stories over and over again. Senseless killings, a guy just trying to run a business and be a good family man. It's hard to hear, but we thank you for the report this morning.